had to get my camera just right. Got a 1951 Ford original AM radio. This one's uh, been custom built. A uh, guy is actually doing a truck. I think it's a truck. I've seen the dash and he's got a 51 dash in it. Uh, it's a custom truck. Uh, we've cut this one down uh, from uh, the lip here back is right at six inches. Took a whole lot off of it. And we've done a full Aurora design conversion. It now has AM FM stereo, auxiliary in, automatic, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got pre-outs on it if you want to add a pre-out to a set of speakers or a sub. RCA pre-outs. It has also uh, got USB port. This is your port you'll be getting. It comes with a bracket. You can mount it in or put it in a round hole. Plays a uh, thumb drive. You'll be getting a thumb drive with music on it and all the files are built. It'll also charge your devices. You can put it in here and get your phone charged. Above here is your uh, auxiliary in 3.5. Right here that you plug into it, which is automatic. We'll be demonstrating that. It also has a uh, Bluetooth voice command, voice assistance. Let me get the right cord out here. Here we go. And uh, we'll kind of show you the, the body of it that we've cut down. It's real short. That's a heat sink on it. Because he don't have much room in the dash, so we had to cut it down and then squeeze everything in it right now you're on FM what was that you have an operating LED right here which changes multiple colors depending on what you have the radio doing this is your stereo LED over here it lights up when you find a stereo channel and I'm going to do lower Europe and Asia today after President Trump raised doubts on it. If you won't go to AM radio, you just simply turn the radio off and right back on. The little light turns to red. Now you're on AM radio at 650 here in Nashville. Repolished all the face, the background, redone the push buttons on it, repolished everything. That's AM radio. If you want to go back to FM off and right back on, takes you right back to FM stereo. Bass and treble like you've always had. It's a physical disability and you live in a place like Kenya. Support for NPR. Some about from elevator the music there. And from Amazon. Auxiliary in, Amazon like I said, is automatic. You'll be getting a mail to mail cord like this one. And hand curated Comes in the package. Including and all you do is just plug in here. From plug your device in, no matter what it is satellite radio, CD player, your phone, iPod, MP3s, uh, whatever you'd like to plug into it. You bring it up, and all you do is just hit play. get done with any device you have plugged in and those little LEDs on green just simply turn it off and then in 20 seconds we're gonna go back to radio uh, during that 20 seconds if you don't want to wait 20 seconds just turn the radio off and right back on there remembers where you're at we're gonna let it run its cycle make sure everything switches back like we want it to back on radio or ticket 
This is the public radio service of Western Kentucky University. WKYU-FM 88.9 Bowling Green. WDCL-FM. I don't You also have a balance and fader, depends on how many speakers you hook up or how many pre-outs you're using. We'll demonstrate that. This is your wide open treble, wide open bass. All you do is go back to about the center of it. If you want to go in the fader, you move uh, the toner control twice, like a 12 to 2 motion, and it will. she will come on and say in the fader mode. As long as you're moving this toner control, you can fade from front to rear until you like what you find what you like, just stop, it'll beep once and go back to tone. Let's try it. Fader adjust. Rear speakers, front speakers. As long as I'm moving this, I can fade from back to front until I find what I like. Alright, let it beep. Back on treble and bass. Gonna go back to that same spot there. And we're going to go into the balance mode by going counterclockwise, like a 12 to 10 motion. And we're going to be in the balance mode. One, two. Balance adjust. Right side, left side. Let's balance it out where we like it. Let it beat. Back on toner, treble and bass. That's how you set up a four, four speakers. Now we've gone through AM, switching, your balance, toner, fader, all your push buttons work like they always did. Unscrew them, preset them, screw it back in. That's how you work the presets on it. The president Uh, we're going to run our Bluetooth in and show you how that works. That's where this uh, little push button comes into uh, in the hand. We're going to let her help us pairing it up. All we're going to do is hold this push button down. Well, maybe I don't have it plugged in. Let me check it. Might have plugged it in the wrong hole. On these radios, whatever you plug into it, just take the power off and it will recognize it. That's what it was. I had it in the wrong hole. Bluetooth connected. All right, we're gonna take it off Bluetooth and show you how to pair up. Go to our Bluetooth. Let's go up. She's gonna tell us when it, when it quits. Bluetooth disconnected. All right. Now the way you do the first initial pair up by using the push button. After that, every time you get in your truck or car, turn this radio on. You have your phone. She'll come on and say Bluetooth device connected. Let's let her help us out. We're gonna hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we're gonna do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Now every time I turn this radio on, she'll find my phone and say blue Bluetooth connected. And you notice the little push buttons lit up. Uh, you have a built-in mic right here in the face plus you get an extra mic with it and all you do let's do a voice command and check the mic out we're gonna hold it down bring series up on our phone play music okay going to music on my phone Advance your songs by pushing the button once. Back 
up by pushing it twice or repeat. Depends on how long you were into the song. You can repeat by hitting it twice. So anything your smartphone's capable of doing, you can do it all with a push button. You don't even have to have your phone out. Look up addresses, look up um, directions, whatever you want to do. Call people. You can even text with it. Let's go back to radio. We're going to hold it down. Stop music. Now we're going right back to radio. Put it in pause, back on radio. That's how your hand-free phone calls and all work. So now, once you do the initial pair up, every time you get in your car and turn the radio on, have your phone, she will come on and say device connected or Bluetooth device connected. Bluetooth connected. Good old Tennessee pollen. You got a thumb drive, it comes with it with some music on it, like this one. Also, the video will be on here. And uh, all you do is plug it in, it'll go straight to it. And uh, if you want to advance the song, same way you did as your phone, press it once. I got to groove. Twice to back up or repeat. I got to groove. And a lot of people you can hide these in your glove box or whatever because you don't have to take the stick in and out unless you want to charge the device or actually put another stick thumb drive in it. You want to go back to radio, you hold this down for one second. This is going to pause. Going to blink a couple times along with that little LED in there. Now we're going right back to radio. Uh, that's the best way to do it. Back on radio. Going down the road and you want to go back to the thumb drive, just hold it down one second. Right back to it. Depends on how long you were down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. Of course, computer age, you know how it is. Let's go back to radio. Hold it down. Put it in pause. We're going right back to radio. And then I'm going to show you the last feature on it. This is kind of neat on these new ones. This radio will also uh, seek and scan stations for you without the needle moving. And I'll show you this is in your instructions on how it works. All you do is just take your knob, your tuning knob, and go twice. One, two. Little light gets to blinking. Now we're going to go through different stations. Let them look over the contract and make sure there's no loopholes in the contract. There's your next station. listen to this conversation it will be i think one of the most fruitful conversations you've listened to in quite some time sky is one of those folks that so to say we like that station there we're gonna go one time up the dial it's gonna start fast and quick now we can stay right there or we can find it it'll go quiet till i find it there it is unscrew push button preset it and you got it Back to scanning. Now we like that station there one time and it will stay on that station. It will start flashing and then go solid. There it is. We won't go back to regular radio. Just start turning it will go back to where we had it. And one for the whip. That's your customized 1951 Ford radio. Uh, we'll look forward to a picture of the dash when you get this in. But I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.